The scene just cleared up just a few moments ago, but police are still working to locate a victim. This started off as a distress call from someone in a home on this block, and when they arrived on scene, there was a woman found dead within the home, submerged underwater at this point. It's grown significantly since I first got here just hours ago, and that's mainly from the water leaking from this break. Masking up has been a divisive issue all across Michiana since the start of this school year. So divisive, in fact, that parents lined up right along this road right here earlier today to protest when these tables and chairs were donated. This was only supposed to last a year, but now grant funding could make this space permanent. Hey, to the parents at all. You want to say anything to the victim? Brian, the judge gave Cowles 20 days to make a plea on all of the charges he's currently facing, but he decided to plead not guilty here today on all counts. This is the worst part of it right here. This chair, you can see this piece of it was actually thrown out in front of the store. They had to bring most of the furniture out back. The residents were expecting construction to be finished here in mid October, but it's November. And if you take a look behind me, you can see construction is still going on here. And many of the residents here have had to park blocks away. Fans and students were shocked and disappointed here today, but that's not going to change their loyalty going into next season. Million returns still haven't been processed yet, but you can check your status with the Check My Payment tool. Simply enter your information and the site will tell you when the payment is expected to hit your bank account. It's shocking. It's scary. It just, it just goes to show you just never know. You got to be very careful. Christy Scheiber lives a few blocks away from the wooded area. Police say they found the body of 11th month old Mercedes Lane. She moved to the area almost three years ago, but couldn't believe what she found this morning after dropping her granddaughter off at school. On the corner of my eye, I seen something in the trees, so I went to look and it was the baby's diaper bag. Found a piece of paper with the mom's name on it, so I uh, immediately obviously called the police and they had me come down with them to show them where it was at. The diaper bag was located not far from a roadside memorial made in Mercedes's honor at the intersection of 1025 East and 50 North outside Knox. Marshall County resident David Jeffries has known all three suspects arrested in connection with Mercedes's death for approximately 15 years. He says Mercedes's babysitter Justin Miller was heavily involved with drugs in the past, which is why he chose to separate himself. You know, any man that can sit there and abuse a child and do what he just did right here, that ain't no man, and he should never be, be a parent or a guardian to any child. Jeffrey says, like many, he was hoping to hear news of Mercedes's safe return, but now he and other community members are just hoping this becomes a lesson for parents to be careful who they send their kids with. Unfortunately, people let drugs get the best of them. And when you let drugs sit there get the best of you, man, you do stupid things. You know, Mercedes, she didn't deserve this. She didn't deserve it at all. It's another difficult day for the residents of Benton Harbor. Waiting in long lines at water distribution sites was made even more frustrating by today's cold and rainy weather. After almost 24 hours without running water, crews repaired the water line break. But it doesn't mean much because the lead in the water restricts them from using it for almost anything. Some living in Benton Harbor tell me enough is enough, and they're hoping the recall effort against Mayor Marcus Muhammad moves forward. I don't feel that what he said was accurate or um, appropriate as far as saying that Flint's crisis was a criminal and ours was financial. At this point, if you can't get the job done and get it done properly, yeah, you need to go. And we need somebody to get in here that really cares about the community. When it's time to vote, everybody be knocking on yeah, doors. You can. can't get rid of people knocking on your door. But now we in a pandemic, and we ain't got water. no water, and we in a water crisis, and you ain't got nobody knocking on the doors going from house to house. The Sewell family, a household of five, has been struggling to keep it together during this time. While they're frustrated with what they call a lack of action from the mayor so far, they say the crisis doesn't completely fall on his shoulders. This problem should have been fixed a long time ago. I'm not going to say it's Muhammad's fault because he wasn't a mayor back when it should have been done. For others like lifelong resident Jamie Crum, she's trying to remain positive for her kids. <laughs> but she says the lack of city leadership has gone on for far too long. I've been looking very hard and trying to find somewhere else to go. I have been in Michigan been in Benton Harbor all of my life, and at this point, I'm tired. I'm ready to go. I was a, you know, I'm an alcoholic. One year ago from the day, I never thought that 
I would be in this position and nothing was certain. Devin Agee is an Iraq veteran who has struggled with PTSD. Seeking a lifestyle change earlier this year, he became involved with local nonprofit Get Wet for a Vet. For him, the support has been life changing, especially after learning he was one of five people chosen for this year's $500 Walmart holiday shopping spree. The emotion is always high. You know, it's so rewarding. Um, you know, not only just to see the things for the veterans and to give back because they gave so much, but just to still see the good in the world. For Natasha McLanahan, she's been involved with the annual give back event for over 10 years. The event, which is a partnership between the VA and Get Wet for a Vet, is just one of many for the year. But COVID concerns caused all but one vet to be able to shop in person. In search of volunteers, Vice President for the nonprofit Elaine Ledim decided to recruit her five-year-old grandson Jasper so she could teach him the importance of giving back to those who serve. <laughs> Yay! Thank you. He does lots of hands-on stuff, so I just want him to know, you know, what a veteran is and how important they are, and so it carries on with the next generation. Although he's only five, helping fill up the carts, he learned something pretty special. <laughs> which is something a G says he hopes to carry on to his daughter, who he'll be seeing for the first time this holiday season in over a year. I've just hit my nine month uh, sobriety marker. And just everything seems to be coming together, new place, an independent, you know, self-sufficient life. So I think this year, this year uh, I'll remember for a long time. Notre Dame Athletics has gone completely mobile this year for football games. And paper tickets are now a thing of the past. This season, all you'll need is one of these. As early as Wednesday of game week, you'll receive an email with a personalized link to download your tickets. To find the email in your inbox, just type in the keywords, your mobile tickets have arrived. Once you have the email open, follow the link to your Notre Dame ticket account and select add to your digital wallet. The digital wallet can refer to the Apple Wallet app for iPhones or the Google Pay app for Androids. But wait, what if you can't come to the game? You might experience some FOMO, but here's how you can sell or transfer your tickets. Just sign into your account on und.com slash buy tickets and select transfer. Choose the game you'd like and enter the phone number of the person you're sending it to. You'll then receive a text message to confirm the transaction. Now you might be asking why Notre Dame is implementing this change. It's simple. It provides a safer game day experience for fans by protecting them against fraud, or losing their tickets. If you're on the receiving end of transfer tickets, make sure to accept them quickly as you only have one week to add them to your wallet before the link expires. Now you're ready to go ahead of game day. Just don't forget to charge your phone and be prepared to cheer on the fighting hours as they head to victory. Reporting from Notre Dame, Samantha Johns, ABC 57 News.